Hey, welcome back to JG3 Reviews. Today, we're going to look at a fountain pen. Imagine that. And uh, as we're enjoying the fall weather here in Texas, I'm also enjoying some fall colors. This is an orange swirl that I think looks really cool on this Canwrite Desire fountain pen with, with, what is it? What's the with? What's it? What's it got? What's, what's, what kind of, what kind of with you got there? I got a flex nib. That's right. You can get the can right from Fountain Pen Revolution with the flex nib or just a normal everyday steel nib, whatever you want to do. But I got the flex nib and what I want to know is, does it flex? You know, I've gotten flex nibs before that weren't. So is it? Can, I'm not going to do my little rhyme again on can the can right right. Instead, I'm going to ask, can the can right flex flex? We'll find out after we flip the camera. All right. We have in this beautiful orange swirl and white resin, uh, the can right desire. And I really do like the look of this resin. There is uh, a bit of transparency there. Not a lot. You can't see through the pen really. But as you can see, where there is less of the white, you can start to see inside that pen and see those threads. So pretty neat. Has an unusual clip. That's the second thing I notice after the resin is that this clip really swings away from the body, leaving a larger gap than normal. But it's very effective without being too stiff. Nice and uh, springy that is, and that arch probably gives it some extra strength, so the Romans would have us know, right? And then, if you just don't like a clip, I do, you can remove the finial from the cap that unscrews, and you can remove that clip and put that back on and just not have one if that is your thing. You will notice that it is similar to the Noodler's Ahab, which I just so happen to have right back here. Similar pins, they're not identical pins. The shape actually is more different than it looks. The caps are different lengths. They're not the same pin, uh, but very similar, even though this is a really pretty blue material, uh, very similar white swirling in it. And I do believe that Canwright makes the, uh, the Ahab for noodlers. They have their custom, also widely arched uh, clip and all that good stuff, and a very similar nib. I think probably the same nib. This one just branded Noodlers and this one of course branded uh, Canwrite, but this comes with, if you're comparing and wanting to know, uh, this would be a, maybe for some people an important thing, this one comes with an Ebonite nib, whereas today's featured pen, the Desire comes with da -da 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 -da, a plastic feed, like, you know, almost every other fountain pen in its price range. So that's that's a bonus you get with the Ahab. You do get an ebonite feed if you consider that a bonus, which, you know, a lot of us do. If for nothing else, that one comes heat set. And of course, uh, you heat set this to the, in the same way and you just end up with a melted damage nib. Uh, ask me, ask me how I know. Anyway, <laughs> this pen, let's get on with it. Uh, as you can see, that nib is branded can write because they do make their own nibs. And it is a six-ish sized nib. Uh, I'm not totally sure about its interchangeability with a lot of other pins. Uh, I haven't done that. So somebody may want to remark on that in the comment if you have good knowledge about it. But it is a six-sized nib. And I like this curved section. I find this to be a comfortable section. It reminds me a little bit with a little bit less uh, of, the sh of the curve shape to it. Uh, of that pen BBS 440 Schaefer design, really, uh, grip section. I said 440, it's the 480. Uh, and, but I like that. It's very comfortable and good if you're writing for a long time. Now, as you open up this pen, very simple cigar shaped pen, you will notice before I'm even done that there is an O ring. Always like to see that. And this pen came to me. Uh, with silicon grease already on it as well. Also, a nice touch. You will also notice it took a bunch of turns. I didn't count them, but a lot of turns to get the barrel off. And with that barrel and that grease and those turns, you end up with a pen that certainly can be eyedropper. So yet another feature there. Now, this pen came with a regular twist piston converter that is a screw in. I I think I can get this out without making too big a mess. Uh, but it is a screw in proprietary converter there. 
and that also came pre-greased to prevent the leakage and that is always a good thing as well has a decent capacity now i will say just you know um, buyer beware some people have gotten these and i don't know if it depends on the batch or the year of manufacture where it had one of those uh, slide converters and i was always i'm always happy when i pull that barrel off for the first time and find out oop not a slide converter so that for me was a good thing but there you go the main thing is a converter is included and you know how happy that makes the james so that's always good now let's flip the camera and see how this flex nib writes okay the pin does post securely and i find that you know it's a well balanced pin posted and that uh this is finished in a nice enough curve that it does not rub against the, your hand i i hate it when that happens and uh this pin course does not do it so that's that's always nice so this is again the can write desire and I'm writing here with just normal pressure so it is a flex nib and this is Monteverde Oops, I got my pins in the way. All crowded up here. And this is Mandarin Orange. So as you can see, just writing normally, you're not going to get a lot of uh, flex or anything. That's just normal light pressure. But when you want to, you absolutely can. So again, this would be uh, just normal everyday pressure and then this would be coaxing that flex out still not pressing hard but uh i'll show you in a second um, another offering that makes that an even easier thing but as you can see it does have a just a nice i would say a medium amount moderate amount of flex and you know it is a steel nib and uh i, I would consider it maybe a a semi flex but you can definitely get that. So, whoops. You can get some out of that. Now, this is something I'm still new to. So, uh, you know, I know some of you are going to be all judgmental. It's okay. Uh, I'm not, this is, this is actually not my thing, uh, flex writing. So I, I have just a few pens with flex nibs for just a few, you know, uh, for me, that's, that's just a few. Uh, and so I'm learning, I'm learning and some pens make it easier than others. So anyway, uh, it, it does do, I think, a pretty good job. Now on mine, and I think, I really think it's just this pen. Um, uh, I do now and then, um, have a little bit of, not hard starts or anything like that. I just would like a little bit more flow out of that feed. And my suspicion is that that's probably why, uh, Noodlers has a different feed on it because they were especially going for flex from what I understand. And so I think that feed, the ebonite feed on the noodlers does keep up a little bit better. So it's that's the only thing I would say is I really wish this pen also came with that and I would, you know, pay extra uh, a little bit for that. I think the uh, the Ahab does cost a little bit more than this pen if I if I remember correctly. I'll put links below. Uh, but anyway, you can definitely get that flex out of there not a problem and so i really do i like that pen and one of the things that i like about it is that this is an easy pen to clean it's really well made very well put together um, and it's very serviceable 
pin. So you would take this off, and actually, let me just put a picture up, but you would you would take off the section, the screw-in nib unit comes out, the nib and feed pull out of that nib unit, and you can clean every bit of this pin. And so that I do uh, really like about it. Now, if I were going to compare it to another pin, uh, you, you only want to uh, buy the one pin. You don't want to end up with four flex nibs, right? Four, four flex pins, uh, like some people you know with a problem. Maybe you would look as an alternative at the Fountain Pen Revolution Jaipur with the Ultra Flex nib. I haven't reviewed this yet. My wife got this for my birthday, which is later this week, and uh, did that at the Dallas, almost at the Dallas Auto Show. That wouldn't be right, would it? How about the Dallas pin show and it flexes quite a bit more i'm not even pushing it uh, and just really really nice this is that oxford blue and you can see here that it i'm actually writing a bit too small and quickly but just so nice this ultra flex from uh Fountain Pen Revolution. So if you're wanting for a more, uh, for a springier flex nib, I, by comparison, I would say that that one's going to give you more. If you just, if you want it to be a little bit cheaper, this also comes from FPR and it doesn't have as much flex as you can see in this nib, but I think it's a good uh, starter pen. This one might be a little bit more, uh, it's more intimidating in that, boy, it, it has, uh, the flow and the wetness that I wish this pen had just a little bit more of, but this one flexes so well and so easily that uh, it's it's there's maybe uh, a little bit more of a learning curve with that uh, extra ability, if that makes sense. This I would actually I wouldn't compare it to a Custom Heritage 912, but uh, its nib is a almost as easy to flex and spring with as the falcon nib that comes in that pen. Now the falcon nib is a gold nib and it's more refined and you know yada 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 but on a budget uh, if I just was not going to spend the money on that pilot then to get that kind of flex I'd probably go with uh, the ultra flex there from FPR. If I just want something that I can write with more easily write with uh, in a normal way, but then do double duty and have flexibility when I want it. That is the sweet spot that the can write desire with its flex nib uh, fits. You can write with it like a normal fine nib and be happy all day long and then switch uh, just, you know, whatever your heart desires to a little bit of flexible writing. So there you go. Let's do a little bit of size comparison. This is, of course, the desire. This is the Jaipur, probably putting that in a pool of ink. <laughs> this is the Noodler's Ahab, and those, of course, all compare. Got a little bit of stuff there on my grandmother's table. And what else do I have? We have the ever handy Wing Sung 601. Let's push those up a little bit. The 601, very similar in size. And another pen that many of you might know would be how about this? The Twisby. Swipe, also similar in size to the Lamy Safari. So that gives you a good, fair idea and some comparisons on size. And that is my impression of the Canwright Desire. Really nice material, well-made pen. Um, I think it's a very decent value for the price. Uh, it's a little bit of a stiff flip snip, so I would call it a semi-flex, but it has possibilities. So check it out sometime, and God bless you. Have a great